Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel, Hawk here. Today we're going over Lake Star. And during this event, you can get a bunch of free forma. But first off, before we talk about that, we're going to talk about how to get the most standing out of each run. Now, obviously to do the bounty, you need to talk to Kanzu over here, go to bounties, and it'll be this one, Plague Star at the top. To get the most out of each run, on the second stage it will tell you on the left side of your screen that you will need two things and you will need to get four of them. That will be the Idon Phylanxis and the Infested Catalyst. The Infested Catalyst blueprint you can duplicate in the Biolab from your dojo and it is a reusable blueprint so you don't have to go back to the dojo every single time you want to get one of these. Same with the idol on Phylanxis, except you get that from Nakak here during the event. If you don't know how to get to her, you can just go to Fast Travel, Nakak, and you will be right here with her. You will go to Operational Supply, and View Offerings, and you can just pick it up here. You can get the most out of the standing, which is 3,050 standing per run. But, what you can get here are obviously these flares that increase affinity range, which you can get normally. You get the Plague Star Emblem, you get some status Wisps if you really need them, the rare gems, the rare fish parts. Fulmination mod here, which is kind of useful, but secondaries don't, a lot of secondaries don't really have much blast radius. Or an AoE attack. But sacrifice. This will allow you to be revived by your sentinel, but they'll sacrifice themselves in the process. This will work great with the Jin Sentinel, which can revive itself. The mo the thing you most want to focus on here are the free formas, which is three thousand standing each. So just after one run of the bounty, you can get a forma. But obviously, if you want to keep getting more form at a time, you can just keep stacking up standing. But something new here is the Ghoul Saw. Now, I looked at the stats here, and it doesn't really seem that impressive, but obviously I still need to test it out, which means I need to get more standing to get it and build it. <laughs> like, it's not really good at crit, but it's decent with status. And the damage is alright with slash and puncture and impact. It does look like it could be exceptional with heavy attack builds though. Most people really like this thing because with this stance here with it will allow you to be able to ride it with a certain combination. On another hand, a lot of people will really want to go for Exodia Contagion because if you have a Zol and have a good setup with it, this can deal a lot of damage. Like, it can one-shot enemies on the steel path kind of damage. Then obviously, you can get the plague parts for Zols as well. That wraps up for this video, and I'll see you all in the next one.